Welcome to my channel, I'm Jimmy68, and this is going to be updated how to on using Rumble Stu uh, Studios. Uh, I left a couple, a little bit of information out of the last one, and pe people in the YouTube comments asked a couple questions, and I thought it'd be better to just do a new video that includes the, them. We'll start by the setup on the... Um, uh, virtual camera, you can set it to the scene or default program, and it'll show the output from your OBS Studios. Then, when I go to set up Rumble Studios, I always start my virtual camera first. Once I did do that, I can uh, go to Rumble Studios and set it up and have everything ready. Before I start this video, I removed my Twi Twitch and YouTube accounts from uh, Rumble Studios so I can show adding them. So we'll get to that uh, right after this. Listen, if you like coffee or snacks, Coffee brand coffee, the link in, is in the description that will get you 5% off everything but the Roaster's Choice uh, Coffee Club. Roaster's Choice Coffee Club, as of the time of this video, it's $25 off when your first month when you sign up. I believe automatically there's no promo code for it. As far as they have plenty of some premium snacks. My discount code, the discount comes off of this, the discounted price as well. And if you use promo code Jammer68, that gives you another 10% off. They have some K-Cups and a K-Cup filter. If you don't like the K-Cups that they have, you can uh, get one of the other types of coffee, buy the filter, and use it to make your coffee. They also have three types of cocoa. A fourth one right now is on sale until it is sold out. They're re real cocoa cocos. So let's get on with setting up Rumble Studios. Okay, on Rumble Studios, you can click here or set up a new stream to add destinations to it like Odyssey, YouTube, Add a new destination. Uh, Rumble is connected. My locals and Odyssey is saved. But I'll have to change that. And I'll show you this after that. Add a new destination. For YouTube, you click on YouTube. And then open it up. You select which channel. If you have multiple channels you want to stream to. Okay. Click on that. And then continue. YouTube is successfully connected. Uh, phone call. Let me pause this a second. Then back. Sorry about that. My wife called. Uh, she saw and she got a text message that my new monitor de was delivered, and I just got it set up and <coughs> using it actually now. Okay, let's go back to Twitch. Let's click on Twitch. Twitch is successfully connected. You don't have to go through those steps. Now with Odyssey, you have to edit the RTMP. You have to go to Odyssey, get the RTMP URL, which is should be the same, I believe, as this one. But the stream key, you have to um, get every time you stream. Of course, that's probably the same with the other ones. Any other other websites like Kick, any other destination, you just click to add. Once you get that done, go to home again. Then you set up, you go back to setup stream, you add your thumbnail, 
that you want for the stream, uh, which I had the wrong thing. So if you're going like me, I use Daisy placeholder video. That's whatever. If you got an intro video or something like that, you add you add that to it. Put your description in, which you have to have so many uh, a minimum number, as you can see here. It will turn green when you have enough. Description is optional. And I will tell you now on Twitch, the description does not get filled in, but the name, the stream name does. If you want to schedule the stream, you can pick a time. Looks like up to probably 24 hours ahead of time. The license is usually Rumble personal. I think um, it hides the stream. Now, when you want to set up the stream, you have to select the channel on, low, on Rumble. Once that's selected, you can go next or you can select the other ones. Locals, YouTube, Twitch. Whichever one is you want to select, then you collect, click next. Now setting this up, what I didn't say last time is you got to enable the microphone, and I always use either the def default or the headset that I'm on. This has virtual cable for OBS. When I was trying to set up the stream to locals through obs i need to install that plugin and i didn't this is my uh, camera microphone which you wouldn't be able to hear very good if i use that so i use default or a headset once that's on you set this to obs virtual camera and enable it on your screen here Click presentation. That shows the output of your OBS. Now, with OBS, uh, let's go back to this so that don't drive you nuts. With OBS, once you have that, you can select your sc screens, zoom, and then transition just like you would anything else. Once you get all that doing, you click the go live button and it will ask you where to go live and then you click go live. Word of warning, if you set this up and you want to put it, you add a commercial like I did in this video to it, you have to manually go to YouTube and add, click paid commercial and content on it so that youtube don't get antsy about it on twitch you have to put the, uh, manually put the description and change what game you're playing if you're not playing the same one as what it says default seems every time i upload a video to them um, or do a live stream to twitch until i go in and change it it shows it as being daisy i don't know why i never said it default you can manage participants there, or if you got people on a Zoom call, you can do it through Zoom. If there's any more questions on this, please let me know in the comments, and I will try to address them in an updated video. Now, when you want to end your uh, stream, you can wrap up and uh, you in the stream 
it will show you go live and once you're live it'll have a button to end stream once you're in the stream you can wrap up and leave and it sends you back to the home screen where you can set up a new one now if you want to create from template you can choose one of your previous screen streams to set up to let's say you're streaming Saints Row again. It puts everything in here except for the time and the destinations. You select the destinations, you can go next and see it's got everything what it's showing live. That that and that. You, if you want to, anytime you want to add destinations, you can do it from your settings here, which I'm not going to show because it goes to my account and my real name's on the account and a little bit other information. But you go to here and click on it. And it'll show you manage destinations, and you can do the same thing through that. And once you're done, you can hit home, and it takes you back to set up the stream. So, when you log in to Rumble Studios, you have to have a Rumble account to log in. That being said, I said there is, if you do not have a Rumble account, you can click on the link below. Um... Is referral and it lets them know that I sent you when you create your account. Now, thank you for watching. Remember to subscribe, like the video, share it, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.